Hello! Welcome to Studio Vlog 15. Um, yeah, it's the new year. How exciting. If you don't know who I am, I'm Rosie from Pin and Ink. I'm an artist, maker and other things. Uh, yeah, and I decided to take some of the clips of what I've been doing over the last, I want to say, week to two weeks because I honestly don't really know when these clips are from. As I'm sure most of you know, the section of time between Christmas and New Year's is kind of a void, like a black hole of who knows what. And then after that, I was kind of just back at my day job, working really hard on all the things that just massively accumulated over those time off. So yeah, this is some of the clips of the pin and ink stuff that I did. But um, yeah, it's, it's kind of random. So enjoy and uh, I'll speak to you on the flip side. Yes, I'm not cool enough to say that. So during the holidays, I decided to make some clay things. I actually made a video about this, making your own clay palettes. And with all the clay that I had and the testing I was doing, I ended up making loads of other things too, including this little little bowl, which I thought would be really handy for sharpenings. So that's what it's for. I have used it now and it's it's very useful. Um, but yeah, I also made some other palettes as tests, trying to see if the acrylic gouache paint would blur or, or change colour with this particular varnish I'm using. Um, Yes, I hope you enjoy seeing these clips as well. And uh, I'm just gonna stick some music with this now because I don't really have much to say because I say it all in the other video. So, you know, enjoy. <laughs> vlog this is gonna be because I feel like it's just gonna be drips and drabs of the next two weeks I don't know I don't know what I'm gonna do um but yeah I'm wearing my lovely let's check my monitor is in focus yeah I'm wearing my lovely pencil kimono jacket that um my other half's mum made me which is super lovely and all fancy and I feel all it's, I don't know super super creative in it which is cool um, but yeah, do you like it? I'm I probably shouldn't be wearing pants underneath it, but I have everything in pants. <laughs> um, yeah, what am I doing? Um, so I've been finishing up these little pots and things that I've been making just for me. Uh, I just finished up the little apple paintbrush holder. I don't know. It just, I had a ball of clay left and thought it'd be fun. Um, and now I want to try and make a storage thing for my paints because as you can see, they're overflowing and I did order a few more, which will be arriving some point soon. So um, I'm gonna try and see if I can find another ball. If I can't, then I can't really do it. I'm gonna look down here for the baskets because I really thought I had some. Oh, the light went off. Yeah. <laughs> Why did the light go off? Oh, yeah, off you go. What have I found? I couldn't find the bowls, but I did find this thing I made, which is the same bowl because that's what I originally bought it for, which was um, a work video. So I'm gonna try and remove the flowers because I don't actually use this for anything and it'll be much more useful to have uh, for my plan for my storing my plate paints. So I'm going to try and get these off. No, I'm not saving the flowers. Looking good. <laughs> I'm going to deal with this with a knife in a second, but let me tell you my plan. I'm going to stick a rod in the middle of it 
and then stick the bottom of the rod to this to make a two tier paint basket which should store everything. It's going to be very heavy but that's the plan. Okay so back to voiceover Rosie because obviously Rosie at the time is just super organized and did no speaking but yes so um, what I did here is I took some corks that I had. I had a bag of corks for some craft video I did for work ages ago and I cut them to the height that I would need just so there was enough space for a layer of paints but not too much space that it would be like really wobbly so yeah I did have this really naff old super glue that needed cutting up and messing with and it was really annoying as you can see very shortly I struggled quite a lot with it um, but yeah I, with super glue I've cut out the bits but I'm just holding it for so long just to try and get it to stay and then I had to keep applying more super glue around it and I actually ended up wrapping super glue coated string around all the areas that touched the baskets because baskets didn't have many points of contact so it wasn't super strong I didn't show the string bit it was super fiddly and mainly shadows but yeah oh look see I can't actually squeeze it hard enough I'm actually really physically weak so um yeah I had to use my pliers my good old Leatherman uh, to squeeze enough glue on and it never stopped flowing so I was just like stop just just stop stop Thank you. Um, but yeah, then I stuck the other basket on and pressed down a lot and for a while and magically it was sort of fine-ish. Quite wobbly, actually. Before we add the paints, I'm going to show you some new ones that I got. I just received a an order that I made to Jackson's Art Supplies and I made it like two days ago, like seriously. Just look at the invoice here. When did I make this? 29th of December. That is so quick for what is currently a difficult postal time. But here's what I ordered. And there's nothing else in here. So I did do quite a big order because they had a lot of the colours I've been looking for and I feel like I'm not going to make another order for a while because genuinely this is probably all the colours I need, <laughs> um, but yeah, this was a treat to myself. I'm very naughty, but I did. So let's have a look at what I got. They put them in these boxes, um, which is what the colours come in, but they just reuse the boxes to keep them safe. So the first ones are these three. These three I got Rose, Pale Aqua, and Pale Lavender. Ooh. I got Pale Peach, Pale Mint, and Cosmos Pink. And then the final one. Ah, yes. I got the final two of the Ash Trio. I did not just drop a pair of scissors. That, that didn't happen. <laughs> My card became full. Okay, so I got these two, which are part of the trio of Ash colours, which I think are really lovely. I've really liked using this colour, though it is a lot darker than you kind of expect it to be. So we're interested to see how these ones look. And then finally I got a Chinese white because mostly I've been able to get the primary white but I wanted to have a different white just to see what it's like. I have heard Chinese white's a bit thinner um, and a bit more liquidy which I don't know what that means for it being used as a colour. Like how, how, it, how useful it is but I'm interested to find out what it's like. And yeah, that's my new colours.
Cool, now we have my new colours and they're painted and everything and I've also arranged them into a colour spectrum. I started putting them into the basket tower and don't mind the elastic bands, they're just where I store elastic bands, I'm weird. Um, and yeah, I, I spent a while organising these and trying to work out where best they would fit and it, it was looking really good, like I was like this is working out really well, but it was getting wobblier and wobblier as I did this, which was fun. Um, but yeah, I don't, I don't know what I'm going to do when I get more paints. I'm going to have to do a tier three, which might just fall over. It's going to be on the Leaning Tower of Paints. Oh. <laughs> as you can see, it's not level. Like, it's so wonky. <laughs> it's so bad. But it does the job, and I didn't want to get anything overly fancy for these right now. I just, this is just something I can put on my desk. So, yeah. <laughs> it's so random. Yeah, we're back to this, guys. I need to bleach it again. Um, I look like a boy band member. Let's go back up here so you can't see my hair. <laughs> um, cool. Okay, so I designed the next Bog and Moo sticker. So if you don't know, um, I like to have freebie stickers that change like over the year, and at the moment, each one has been Fog, Fog and Moo, my characters who are a frog and a mouse and the best friends and they have fun activities together and they're just cute. Um, so so yeah, that's really exciting. Um, what's really exciting? <sighs> so yeah, um, I designed the next freebie sticker and I wasn't really sure what they were going to do because normally I'm led by the season but January to March isn't really a thing. Like it's supposed to be spring but global warming is put an end to that making any sense, so it's not really a spring. Um, and I feel like it's just a bit early for anything like that, so lots of people gave me some lovely suggestions on Instagram, and I'll put the sketch up here so you can see 
some of the early sketches that I did, some of the ideas, and yeah, the one that I liked the most was, it'll be maybe here somewhere, I think, probably not, um, the movie one where Fog's watching a movie with popcorn and Moo has fallen asleep. That now needs, I now need to print these off, and um, that's what I'll be doing this evening because I've got some orders to pack and I've got no freebie stickers, so that's the first thing I'm gonna need to do. Uh, one last thing for me uh, in this particular part. Um, my dog is from a charity called Serbia's Forgotten Paws. And usually I would do like a fundraiser where I would, last year I did drawing people's dogs and that was really fun, but it took a lot of time. In fact, I think, I drew like 50 dogs and yeah, it took a lot of time and I just didn't have the time to do that this year even though I wanted to. So I've decided that um, I'm going to basically put some of my products on my Etsy um, as uh, profits from this will go towards charity and, and limit the numbers depending on how much I can actually afford to to do that with. Um, but I've decided I'm going to do it, do the the pins of well some of them aren't on backing cards at the moment but can you see that but I have to do like the the makeup thing so that's my um, croissant pug and my nails are not great for these kind of close ups you. <laughs> people do this that's cinnamon cat and then the OG donut dog which is inspired by Dobby because he sits in a donut shape uh, but some people think it's a fox which is totally fine if you think that like if you like foxes and you don't read this word <laughs> um, but yeah so they all come on backing cards just that that one is on a backing card so I'm going to be putting these up. They're also uh, not just gold, but they also come in black um, metal as well around the edges. So, so there's that. But yeah, I'm going to be putting those as um, all profits go to Serbia's Forgotten Paws. And then my goal is to make £100. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take a photo of them. Try and take an arty photo. It's been a while since I've taken a photo of pins, so this is going to be fun. And hopefully people will want to do it. It they should still be on my website when this vlog goes up, so the link is in the bio. Let's get on with photographing these. Just shut up, Rosie. Okay. <laughs> Photo. Am I focused now? I am. Um, so I've uploaded the picture, I've adjusted the Etsy listings so that they say that the money goes to charity because it's important to tell people where their money goes, otherwise they might not want to give to charity and that's their choice. Um, yeah, so hopefully get some sales, hopefully, um, we'll see. So yeah, thanking someone for sharing it. But I do need to get on with the freebie stickers and then packing the few orders I have. Um, it's probably me done today then. I'm trying to get to bed earlier but I'm kind of failing so. Anyway, stickies, 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 stickies. We might take this opportunity. Just turn off the crown. <laughs> got that one on. Can you see me? Like that. I don't know why I've got it so low. Probably should have it a little bit higher better. Dobby's being weird in the background. Don't look at that. Um, it's done! Yeah, boy! <laughs> um, what am I doing? What am I doing? Uh, I need to photograph these. I'm going to do a little post and then um, I'm going to get a drink and then pack some orders.
everyone, so we're coming to the end of this very random vlog. I hope you've enjoyed it, um, you know, as best as you can for what is a mishmash of just mostly me doing artwork and playing around with stickers, but um, yeah, thank you very much for watching. What you can see me doing right here is I'm doing some studies of some foxes just because I'm trying to, one, do more just sketching without it being like final pieces, um, but also just kind of just do more practice. I'm also watching a live stream on Instagram that Miss Mina did of all the small businesses that she bought from in the last few months over the holidays and I was in it and I was just super chuffed. Everything she said was so nice and um, definitely go check her out. Her artwork's really lovely and she's super sweet. Um, but yeah, but I'm yeah, this is the end of the vlog and I hope you enjoyed it and I've already said that and I'm sorry. Um, how about you um, check out my other videos if you want, they're better. <laughs> And also, if you want to subscribe and like and all those things, that'd be super lovely and really nice. And um, yeah, have a fantastic week and I'll see you next week.